so in this video we are going to discuss about the problem on pulse mode asynchronous sequence circuit so let us consider asynchronous sequence circuit <coughs> which is driven by a pulses to nand latch to nand latches uh, which will generate state variable a and b mm, four inputs what are they w x y and z and one output that is uh, c okay so this is the diagram they have given the problem so a and a bar is uh, So you can see this is your uh, latch, right? Um, we know that uh, this is R and S, right? R A and S A. Okay. C is your output. and you know that this is uh, rb and uh, this is sp this they have they haven't given the diagram okay you have to identify where is the latches <laughs> from the given diagram okay so from this i can write uh, what is ra okay uh, what is ra ra is equal to w plus x the whole bar what is sa sa is nothing but uh, y and what is uh, c c is nothing but b into b into r a bar the second right it is b into s a right because uh, s <coughs> a is uh, r a bar in uh, what is uh, r b rb what is rb rb is y bar what is sb sb is uh, z bar what is b what is b is um, rb into b bar rb into b bar and what is um, a a is equal to a is equal to a bar into r a a bar into r a okay so you have to find the value of uh, q a plus right so q so here the q a plus is nothing but a plus uh, q b plus is equal to b plus <coughs> so for pulse mode for the you have four uh, inputs right so if w is equal to 1 then uh, x y z is equal to 0 all the in rest of the input should be 0 if x is equal to 1 then w y z is equal to 0 if y is equal to 1 then w x z is equal to 0 if z is equal to 1 then w x y is equal to 0 so let me go to the page uh, so this is the uh, diagram they have given 
so for this one this is your uh, characteristics table so for this one for this table i have formed the uh, k map k map for q plus okay q plus so i have taken this is r and s this is a um, latches they are given right so you can see 1100 1100 1100 then 111101 one, 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 one. <coughs> so if i group i will get q plus is equal to r plus plus uh, s into q so i'm going to substitute this one in this equation so <coughs> sorry <coughs> this is r a bar r b bar plus s b into q a right uh, so we are going to substitute the value of r a bar so what is r a bar r a bar is equal to w plus x right and <coughs> w plus x uh, plus what is s a s a is uh, y y into q a okay so what is q b q b is uh, r b bar r b bar is y plus s p or as s p s p is z bar z bar into q b okay so what is c c is nothing but uh, <coughs> b into r a bar b into r a bar or is r a bar r a bar is uh, w plus x okay so first uh, let us uh, find out the output right so if z is uh, b is 0 means output will be 0 right okay mm, for um, for y and z y for y uh, is 1 means uh, rest of the w x and all y is 1 means w x uh, will be goes to 0 so for this one definitely this will be 0 similarly for z also it is 0 right so this will be 1 but b has to be 1 so this will be 1 for the <coughs> because w will be 1 so 1 into 1 b is 1 b represent q b okay q b into w plus x okay so next let me go for uh, q a okay since w is 1 definitely q a plus will be 1 okay so 1 plus anything is 1 so likewise if uh, y is uh, 1 means q b definitely will be 1 okay if x is 1 means q a is 1 then uh, so now let me discuss about uh, q b q b is um, q b is 0 because uh, for this one uh, it is 0 so next uh, if I substitute uh, this is 1 so definitely this will be 1 so if y is uh, 0 so this uh, will be 0 ok why this will be 1 sorry since uh, you can see uh, uh, for this case uh, qb is 1 and uh, z bar means uh, z bar will be 1 right so you will get 1 1 ok so next uh, let me go for the x uh, for qb qb it is uh, y is 0 so this will term will be 0 so for this two qb is 0 so this will be 0 and uh, for this one this will be 1 1 Okay. Next uh, for QA, QA this two will be zero. So for 
QA is 0 means uh, definitely the output will be 0 for rest it is 1 1 next for uh, QA uh, QA uh, this is 0 0 0 because there is no Z uh, statement uh, so this two get cancelled out yeah, everything will be cancelled so definitely it will be 0 so for QB this is 0 and this is 0 this is 0 for entire value so if QB is 0 definitely the output will be 0 so if QB is 1 and uh, 0 means it you will get 1 1 okay. sorry uh, this is 0 right uh, because Z value is 1 so it will be 0 so now we substitute uh, instead of uh, 0 0 you substitute S0 S1 S2 S3 S1 value S2 value and S3 value so now you substitute here ok W X Y Z uh, S0 S1 S2 S3 so what are the value it is uh, S3 S3 S1 S0 next one is uh, S2 S2 S1 S0 next one is S2 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 S0 S3 S3 S2 S0 ok so I am going to substitute this one S3 S3 S1 S0 S2 S2 S1 S0 S2 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 S0 S3 S3 S2 S0 so the output is uh, 0 for everything right here you can see output is 0 only for this 4 values it is 1 so So next I am going to draw the state diagram. So you have uh, four state, one is S0, S1, S2 and S3, right? <coughs> so it will be S0 when Z is Z and the output is 0. It will be goes to S1 when uh, S0 will goes to S1 when Y, y is equal to 0, y, y value and the output is 0 ok it will goes to S3 when W and X values W and X will goes to 0 that is why I am adding this one ok so next S1 S1 will goes to uh, S2 when W plus X is 1 next uh, s1 will remain in x when y 0 will goes to 0 s0 when z of 0 next s2 will be in s2 when w plus x values 1 okay will goes to s0 when z is 0 right next uh, it will goes to for y it is 0 ok next for s3 s3 will be in s3 when w plus x is 0 it will goes to s2 when y is 0 next it will goes to s0 when z is equal to 0 z uh, the output is 0 ok so this is how you have to draw the state diagram